Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Blast the Process, we're raising Sega awareness, and this is the Sonic Block. In fact, it is the final game of the Sonic Block. We're here with Boog. Hey, Boog. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Playing, you'll be playing Sonic Rival. Sonic beat the game. Uh, this is a very interesting one to end the, the, the block Let's on. just say Liz had no idea. This Liz thought this was another game, and I was like, I no, this is this definitely not that game. game. Liz thought it was Sonic I, Battle. I, I said, it, oh, yeah, like no, Sonic Sonic Battle Sonic is about a game. fighting game. The Sonic Rivals is more of a racing game. So without further ado, if you have nothing that you want to say, we can go ahead and get started whenever. Uh, all I just want to say is I uh, hope you guys enjoy this game. There's a lot of nothing in this game. There's no glitches or anything. Just a bunch <laughs> of speed strats and yeah, it's a Sonic There's racing. A lot of nothing. It's just, just a Sonic the racing game. Run. Just like picture a Sonic <laughs> racing game, just with slower, you know, speed. Simple as that. All right, I think I'm ready then. <laughs> get everything right. off my ch my chest, you know. All right, I'll count you down. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, so yes, this is Sonic Rivals, a PSP game that nobody ever played besides me when I had a PSP. Uh, I'm picking Sonic mainly for a one purpose, and that's his ultimate in special. You'll see that later. As well as Knuckles, Shadow, and Silver, they have their own abilities, which we will go into sooner or later. Uh... This game has a lot of RNG based and it's really annoying, but uh, you, this game is not that hard. It's just basically moving right like every the Sonic game. Uh, so what you saw me going fast was the star ability, or you, I call it my ultimate or super, or whatever you guys want to really call it. Uh, that basically is everyone has their own and Sonic's ability is going fast. As for Knuckles, Silver, and Shadow, they, ha they don't have that ability. They have things where you can knock your opponent out or make them lose control or make them go slower. They all have their own different abilities. And that's the reason we're picking Sonic because I know where we know where most of these are and it just speeds up the game faster. We don't want to play as the other characters because if you have a star in the slot for the other characters, it wastes time for them as with Sonic like said, he just goes fast and he doesn't have to worry about wasting time on his opponents. And that's and then I got frozen just like that. Yeah, so that's the only thing with RNG is you don't know what the opponents would pick up. Uh, um, I will explain a couple things of this game right now. Number one, for example, is the rubber banding. And for those that don't know what rubber banding is, is that depending on how fast you or like how far you are ahead of your opponent, your opponent will just, I guess, teleport close to you. And yeah, you don't want that because. I've lost maybe half of my runs to that, and you don't want to be, I mean you can be ahead, you just don't want to get too ahead because then most times you will lose the run. Uh, and the other thing I do also do in this game is bunny hopping, which is the fastest way in this game. Spin dashing for one is not the fastest way in Sonic games, so you'll just, you'll just be bunny hopping a lot and it just picks up the pace. So. Then we have these little, like, long things, we have to, I guess, what do you call them, move objects, <laughs> blocks, is what you want to call them. And those, those are, like, ways they catch up fast, like, they have so many ways of catching up in this game. It's not even funny, like, I promise, no lie. Alright, here I'm using the boost, like I said, you want to grab as many stars as you can, if you find any. It's, some of them we don't grab in certain spots because they're not the fastest way. So you want to pick up ones with that you know where they're at and that you there are on the track that you're going to. Like, it's just grabbing them right there. There are a lot of death traps in this game. I like. Uh, so as you just saw, what Knuckles just did right there, he uses ultimate, which knocks me out. And I said, uh, the next one we verse will be Shadow. I mean, not Shadow, Silver. And Silver is a little more hard. He kind of ruins most of my runs, I should say. Knuckles and Shadow on the end, they're actually nice to me. They don't treat me like garbage in this game. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but other than that, like I said, this is just a racing game. There's really nothing to it. Just got to make sure that, you know, RNG is in your favor. Oh, so what you just saw right there was a cancel, which 
I guess you have to just, that's like all based on being in the right spot in the right time. Uh, one of the other items we use is the fire shield for reasons like if they use their ultimate, that fire shield will just go away. And it's actually better in that case. Oh, I didn't, okay, I didn't use my fire shield fast enough. Um, you can overlap the items, but nothing, it's the same time frame, doesn't matter. But you want to grab as many, like, the stars as you want, that's what you need to grab. Alright, so we're about to come up on the first boss, and the first boss is, like, my worst enemy. <laughs> you guys will definitely see why in a second. But yeah, that's the end of the first two races with Knuckles. Like I said, now we do a boss fight. Uh, basically, how the boss fight works is the first person to get six hits uh, on the boss wins. And you'll see why I will hate this boss. Unless I get a good RNG on this boss, then I will not be hitting this boss. Alright, so if he goes the way... Okay, that's not what I wanted. I want him to go the way I was going. That way to make it easier for me to hit him on the first hit. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, now y'all see why I don't like this boss. Knuckles already got the first hit, and that's not good. But uh, every time he, he does take a while, uh, once you get like the, after three hits, he starts going a little faster and shooting out his head faster, and that's when you want to know when to do it. Right there. Alright. You want to just keep going to the right and hope that, uh, that, yeah, that's not, that's nothing I didn't want to happen. No, that's not good. Yeah, this is a bad boss. Bad, bad first boss. Bad, bad first boss. Alright, and that's the first boss, but that was a very bad boss, I will not lie. Well, you said it's RNG, right? Yeah, well, it's well, it's RNG on where he moves yeah. all the time, so... Hey, there is... You can hit his tail to, like, not get make sure the other opponent doesn't get a hit, but, you know, that's just waste of time, so I just... Just try to, like, pretend that I can get every hit. Uh, so here is the uh, second fight with Silver. Like I said, just another race. Nothing, nothing new to it. Um, he is the worst character to ver verse as a Sonic in this game. Uh, he is just annoying. He won't let me win ever in this game. <laughs> so, boots. Yes. Out of all of the games you could have ran, why did you choose this one? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess like. I wanted to find a game that, well, first I didn't really have any Sega games at the moment that I wanted to speedrun, and then I realized that any game that was made by Sega was able to play, so I said, why don't I just do Sonic Rivals? I know nobody's really heard of this game, and I would like to get more runners into it, but if anybody wants to run this, by all means, give it a try, but I was like, you know, I want to play a game that I know I'm good at and not, like, with everybody else that everyone is better at me in every game <laughs> and yeah so i just well, said how, why don't i just write a racing game and just make it easier for myself what's your pv uh it's a 42 19 and the world record is 41 55 so i am literally 24 seconds of tying him or yeah 24 seconds of tying him and 25 seconds to beat him so that's pretty close. Yeah, and so, I yeah, messed I would up say pretty good. At this yeah, game. I'm pretty decent. So yeah, here's coming up the first like run killer because at the end of this level there are these catap uh, catapults. Basically, whoever gets there first will more than likely win 90% of the time. You, like I said, I will try to bunny hop if he gets to me first, but. Whoa! Oh god, what the hell's going on? We were both in ice forms! <laughs> okay, that was- that's usually a cool thing. If you're like, uh, on like, one of those speed boosts, they do, uh, the ice doesn't affect you and you just keep going, going. So that's the first, uh, level of the m many things Silver can do to screw that run. Then that, this is where I lost many runs to this level right here. Uh, I don't know how it happened one of these times I was running this game and somehow he got the same move three times, which I don't think is impossible, which is impossible in my case. And I lost the run to that and I, I was very far ahead of him. Like I was like, I'm going to win the race and then, you yeah, know, somehow the game must have gave him too many items and uh, yeah, that's when I lost. 
But other than that, this level shouldn't give me any problem. And I fell off. Oh, I didn't fall off. I forgot. There's no falling off on this level. And yeah, so there's a lot of different. Like, I should probably talk about what kind of she uh like items you can get. So as you saw, the electric shield, or not really electric shield. Uh, it's just an electric thing that can uh can uh what do you call it? Shock your opponents. If you're in first place, what it does, it it uh it brings out like poison rings and once they touch the poison ring they get stunned for a few seconds uh if you're in like second uh second place it, it just goes directly towards the guy so it all depends on what place you're in and the ability changes same thing with the fire shield if you're not in first it's not a fire shield anymore it just goes and attacks your opponent so it's pretty cool it's not like you're gonna get not like you have an item that's useless when you're in second place i like how they did that in this game all right, so we are coming up to the final uh, end of this level, hopefully. And let's hope Silver doesn't ruin the run for me, because, like I said, if, I, if it's any level that he ruins me, it's definitely in this level. People are saying the game looks fun to chat. Uh, it's for the PSP, right? Yeah, for PSP. So this is Silver's move, as you can see. Uh, he has that green thing around me. And what that does is he... Uh, messes with my controls so okay wait hold on i can't talk right now because here's the part where he might ruin the run for me all right we're good okay we're good that was close <laughs> um so yeah silver basically messes with your controls and when you're holding right there is no button to hold right if you hold right you'll go left it all depends on the rng for whatever they give you for the control wise Sometimes if you're on like a rail or something and you do get uh, like he messes with your control It actually cancels it which I found out the other day which I thought was really cool All right, so now we're moving on to this boss. This boss is very easy. I say that but I don't mean seriously <laughs> um, What this boss can do is after you get three hits um, He starts burning the platforms and freezing the platforms and making the platforms tiny uh, so basically, you need to just make sure you, uh, you can see right there, he starts burning the platforms right now. And uh, I, I, I think there's a time, like a timer that he comes down on all the time, but I just haven't taken too much time into that right now. And this is actually the one level that's silver that does not mess me up in, on, like, luckily, thank god. <laughs> Uh, you will see another level where he, where I will verse him again. Like you verse the same people twice. The only person you don't verse is whoever you verse coming up in the next level. So for me, I'm only gonna, see, you're only gonna see Sh Shadow one time. Um, in the other, oh, this is not good. He's gonna get a hit, I think. Oh, this is not good. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, I still got the hit. All right, that is that boss. That boss is sometimes a pain in the butt. I have trouble with the boss because it doesn't want to go on cycle any times. So this is the third level of the game. It's like every Sonic game has to have some casino, some carnival level, and this is basically what it is. Uh, this is probably the fastest track out of all both out of uh, all of them. Or you'll see it in, in Act Two. It's literally the same as Act One, um, and you'll see why when I explain it on the next level. So for Shadow, if you guys want to know, oh, yeah, uh, look, people are asking about this game. It is for the PSP, and you can buy it on eBay for three dollars and fifty cents. Oh well, then there you go, guys. <laughs> buy the game for three dollars and fifty cents. Play the game. You could say books and a man told you about this game. One of the best games ever. No, I'm not kidding. I'm being serious. <laughs> can be like yeah so, i got world sorry, record i got world record because book said i can achieve anything i was like yep you can now i don't know what i was talking about <laughs> oh that's right i don't know what i'm talking about so shadow uh, if we ever get to see his uh, special ability um his makes you slow down and it's it's bad because uh i've never real lost any lens to that actually but he's been he's actually the more nicer character or any character, I should say, that you verse in this in this level, because whatever character you pick, you all, you verse different characters always. So like right now, if I was playing as Knuckles, I'd be versing Silver right now instead of Shadow. If I was playing as Knuckles, 
So you're not like first in the same character in the same level as a different character. It's just there's only four characters and you verse different characters every time. So there's really nothing to this level, so if anybody has any questions I can answer that to my best of my knowledge. Like so this is just a run of a whole right level basically. So, oh, I could I say this though. Oh yeah, you can answer your question, but how are you capturing this? Uh, I'm actually using an emulator for this. Uh, I don't. Uh -oh. I'm not too sure. Like, I haven't really found anything, and my PSP is very slow. So I have to either I have to one buy a new PSP and then find some way to capture my PSP. I can't imagine PSP capture is very easy. I don't think they are in my case. <laughs> That's why I just said I'm going to just stick to emulator and I might just keep going on emulator. I mean, I would like to do a PSP, like a real run on a PSP, but... So this game um, doesn't have any emulation problems or anything? Not that I've known of, no. Alright, well, there you go. There you go, guys. You don't even need to play. Uh, so I can explain one thing. So you see I'm versing Metal Sonic. You might be thinking, why am I versing Metal Sonic, right? Uh, of course, like Edman, e Eggman thinks, you know, everything. So he thinks that Metal Sonic can beat me, Sonic the Hedgehog, in a race. And that's basically what we do. There is one time later in the run where we do uh, verse a boss, and he is, and he basically is trying to protect Eggman and not getting hit. But obviously, you know, I, you'll see that's not gonna happen because it's fun messing around in that. Run. I mean, in that boss, it's fun to fun to joke around on that boss. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. There's really nothing. It's Metal, I wish Metal Sonic had a story. That would have been really cool. Um, he is a playable character uh, for like a, a quick race, but other than that, he's he's really has no purpose. So you don't really see him in race. You don't really see him in games. You just see him in quick play and other things like that. Oh, so I didn't forgot to mention one thing about him. Uh, so basically, as you all know, he copies everyone's move, as everyone knows that. Uh, so, Metal Sonic technically copies your ultimate, so whatever character you're playing as, you will copy that ultimate. So, since I'm playing as Sonic, he's gonna copy me going fast. And that is probably the best thing you could ever ask for, because if you play it on other characters, and you're trying to go for a good time, it's not gonna copy. It's, it's more time than possible. But it's good because with Sonic, it, does, like I said, it doesn't affect you. Oh, so I should mention what I was talking about earlier about uh, rubber banding. If you pay attention to Metal Sonic's face, you will see him going pretty fast very shortly because I am very ahead of him right now. Uh, you will just see him like moving to the right, not even pressing anything, and that's because he's rubber banding. And I don't know why people of Sega thought rubber banding was a good idea. Uh, I heard in the second one, Sonic Rivals 2, yes, there is a sequel to this, which I've never played yet. Hopefully, I'll play soon. Uh, that I heard that there's no rubber banding in that game, so that might, I don't know, hope, well, maybe next year I'll do Sonic Rivals 2, who knows? It could be a possibility. So, as you can see right now, you'll, if you pay attention right now, you'll see that he's gonna rubber band him right now. Because I'm going very far ahead of him right now. Uh, you'll see him coming me like very fast. Let's just, there you go, right now. He's a rubber banding him right now. So yeah, that's not, it's very unfortunate that they added that because like I said, I've lost a lot of runs to that rubber banding. And I don't know what he's doing now, he's not, he, he went backwards, so I guess he must have fell somewhere. Mario Kart rubber banding. I guess if that's, I guess if Mario Kart does the same thing, then yes, I guess I would agree with that. So... That is the only zone that does not have a boss. We just go right straight to the next level. And this is a silver that might ruin me part two. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Already already giving me the bad luck. Alright. So this this level, at the end of both levels, uh, it's basically if you don't get to the the end before your opponent does, you're basically blocked because the last, the last two levels of this, or this game, or this track, I should say, 
Um, they're just basically holding right. You don't have to like press anything and you basically lose every time. So depending on if I get to the end on this level and on the second level, we should be fine as long as Silver does not use his ultimate if he has any ultimates. That if he grabs any, so let's pray that he doesn't grab any. Cause I I have a theory that I've been doing, thinking that I'm I'm guessing that they give the CPUs like powers that like secret bonus things that you can't grab in this game. So they just do it for the CPU so that way you don't get the fly they have a rebending, I'm pretty sure. But I, that's just a theory that I have. I'm I'm not saying that there is right or anything. Yeah, this le I will say most of these levels, for anyone that knows, I did see some people say ice cap, but most of these levels look like some, some zones in the classic levels. The only one I don't think I've ever seen is the Colosseum level, which was the second level we did. <gasps> no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 that was not good. Yeah, never jump when you're about to go on one of those loops, because that never ha that doesn't work in this game, as like with other Sonic games that it does work with. Alright. What? Okay. That was weird. Sometimes, I guess, where you stand, I guess doesn't matter in this game, because I apparently hit the spikes so when I really wasn't. But then that's in every Sonic game, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so yeah, he, this is where like it gets really tense now because he's very close to me. You can do it. Yeah, I just used the boost to save me some time, so there we go. All right. So that's mm -hmm. Act One. We're gonna go into Act Two, and I don't think there's anything bad about this level. Just that. You know, like I said, once again, Silver's gonna cross the river. So the reason I have my estimate as like a 40-something is because if I lose a race, I have to restart the race all over again. So, I mean, start from the very beginning and, and pray that I don't get hit. Or pray that I don't lose. So that's why my estimate, I have my estimate as like, as like one race loss just in case if anything happens. Oh boy. Oh, 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 okay. Thank you, Nuff, uh, Nuff I don't know what I'm about. Thank you, Silver, for helping me. So he uses ultimate, and like I said, since I was on a rail, it cancels. It's like, if you're on a spring, if you're on a rail, or an eight, it will definitely cancel it for sure. Oh, there we go. And now he's using it on me. So, I so, probably, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Go. I was just going to talk about the boss, which is a very easy boss. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I was just going to ask about the different uh, categories for this game, since there's obviously Sonic and then also Bubbles Yeah, and there's really... an interesting choice. Just yeah, there's choose. really no different to any of the characters. Like I said, the fastest character in this game is actually, for once, the character that is supposed to be the fastest character. Because, like I said, if you <laughs> use uh, any other character, like I said, Knuckles, Silver, or, or, or Shadow, um, they like stand and like they like stand in place and they use their ability, which takes about two to three seconds, depending on what your you know what character you're playing. I think like Knuckles takes like two to three, Shadow takes like probably a little longer than that. It all just depends on what character. But like I said. For Sonic, there's no point to waiting because he just is going to use a, a speed boost, and that doesn't really waste any time. All right, so it we would are have been pretty funny though if we had like gotten to the Sonic block. It's like welcome to the final game to finish off the Sonic block. Let's play as Knuckles. Let's play as Knuckles. Yeah, why don't we just ruin it for everyone? <laughs> if only I was good at the other car uh, categories, I would I would have probably picked one of those characters to be honest, but. Considering that I wanted a fast category, which of course is Sonic, that's why I picked Sonic. So this boss is like every other boss, pretty much. There's nothing new to it. <laughs> um, this guy is on a cycle, though. You have to wait till his uh, missiles shoot off, and then he's gonna bring his claws down. And I'm not doing good right now. 
No, uh, and uh, so Silver got a, a, a hit, which just is bad for me. Alright. Uh, and it's kind of cool because it, it can. The boss, like, locks onto one of the characters and just shoots his missile off. Uh, it, sometimes he changes that, but uh, not, he just shoots missiles and just try not to get. Uh, there is a one thing that's happened before when I play this game. Um, when he sh like brings down his claws, he, he breaks part of the ice. And uh, one of the times when the ice came back, uh, I got stuck in the ice, so I could not get out of the ice until he brought the wa until he came back in that same position. And that took me like two minutes, and I already knew the run was already over by then. Yes, you guys didn't know that there's, there's a Sonic and Knuckles. You just gotta play the Sonic and then first race is Knuckles. There you go, Sonic and Knuckles. Simple enough. So, what is the story of this game? Apparently the story is that Eggman has this camera that can turn... Like, literally, this is, a tr this is literally what the story is, I'm not lying. Eggman apparently has a camera. That when he takes a picture of a character, it puts him into a card. And that's the plot, is that you go and stop Eggman <laughs> and break his camera and you free the person in the card. <laughs> that's literally the whole point of the game. It's really, it sounds like a really weird plot, but no, that's literally what the plot's all about. That is like the most anime plot. I fucking love it. <laughs> like, it <laughs> Oh. It sounds like an anime that you that you'd see where it's like then you play card games with the cards. Like that would be cool if there was a Sonic card game that that went that went with this, but th there isn't, unfortunately. Okay, so I don't. I saw that you fell. It doesn't seem to lose you that much time. Uh, yeah, it all depends on where you fall. Um, if you don't, if you fall into different, like let's say you fall. Sometimes it will bring you back, like, when I fell, it brought me forward. Some some places, if you fall, they bring you forward. Do they ride motorcycles in this game? Uh, not that I've seen. Not really seen any character ride motorcycles besides your boy, Shadow, but... It's card games on motorcycles. It's the meme. Oh. <laughs> the hot meme. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. The people from yeah. Brotherhood riding this game? This game gives me some Brotherhood vibes. I mean, it was like that era, you know? Yeah, it's kind of weird, like, th with the levels they put in this game. Like, sometimes I'm like, where would you ever see Sonic in a ruined level? Like, I've never, I mean, I've seen games like that, but I mean, like, it's just weird they put them in different, like, this level that I'm playing kind of reminds me a little bit of Metropolis. A little because... bit. It's like a fiery yeah I mean, with, well, I mean besides he, the background the it's it's basically mainly metropolis yeah like they just okay, couldn't think so of anything inspiring robotnik <laughs> is turning people into cards all right with the camera cool. yeah why are why is everyone being a dick to you and like no, I gotta get there first. Fuck you. Okay, so I should mention that. So I guess every character is trying to save someone inside the cards. Like for example, I'm pretty. If I remember correctly, Shadow is trying to save uh, Rouge because Rouge got captured by Eggman and turned Rouge into a card. So then Shadow is saving. I don't know what it is for Knuckles to be honest. I don't remember what it's for Knuckles. And Silver is obviously you can probably guess Blaze. Try and try and yeah. say Blaze, yeah. And then Sonic is Tails. Uh, no, Sonic. Well, it is Tails, but it's also Amy as well. Well, then he's he's got to save two people. He's oh like, no, hey, this is not good. Listen. Oh no, this is not good. I actually might lose this race. Mm, oh. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, I think I lost. Yeah, I think I lost. Yeah, I lost. Oh, that's not good. Well, guess we gotta do level all over again. <laughs> yay! Yay! Yay for showing you off for this level. So yeah, that's why I did put the time as what it was supposed to be because, like I said, I was afraid that was gonna happen, and I missed the. Uh, I missed I mean, the. It's perfectly alright. Yeah, and I felt oh. like I'm so used to taking top route, and this that's twice that I missed the top route. But it's fine, I guess. 
Eggman is actually Eggman Nega. Oh yeah, I Eggman that is Nega I forgot to explain that. Yeah, so when you play as Silver and Shadow and you read their timeline like through the story, Eggman Nega uh, is basically behind it all, pretty much. But for Sonic and, and uh, Knuckles, they don't really talk about Eggman and Knuckles. They only do that for Shadow and uh, Silver. Uh, why? I have no clue. Gotcha. Or I'm guessing the maybe. Eggman Nega like storyline is something that I skipped out on and never got to play Rush. I'm pretty sure in other in other characters. I'm pretty sure you have other characters. I don't know who, if there is any. Not from when I played this when I was probably like I don't know when the PSP was cool back in the day. Was cool. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm hoping cool it was cool kid. back in the day. <laughs> I mean, I thought this game was fun. Everyone thought this game was garbage. I was like, no, this game's fun. Mainly because I'm a Sonic fan. I mean, it was good. I don't know if I'd want to speedrun it. <laughs> I trust me. The, 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 the way that I'm playing this game is not my best. Just saying that right now. <laughs> Because I lost the race to Knuckle, which I never normally do. I don't have once in a while, so I guess marathon time to do it for, I guess. Okay. Should I show you what happens when, when Sonic loses? And I I clipped through the rail. I don't know how I did that, but okay. So yeah, that just happened. That doesn't seem to knock you that far back either. Actually, it seems like it put you further ahead. Yeah, like I said, some some places they put you ahead. I don't know why they do that. I don't know if like the developer just forgot to like fix that or something. It could be like you could do some six speed strats for you. Well, to, like, I I was die. like for a good while I was looking at that like saying, well, if I die here, how far will it put me ahead? Because I know some of them do, but I don't know it all. I know some places they set you back. So then after like so long, it just wasn't really worth it. Because if you you're just gonna go right by it if you didn't die in the level. So I just said um, it, it's not a, not a speed on the side at all. Okay, so we're coming up to the second time we fight uh, Metal Sonic, and it, I guess whatever happened, they destroyed the planet or destroyed the area, so it looks a lot more bad or it looks a lot disgusted as it was whenever it snuffles. And like I said, after this fight, you will uh, I'll be versing. Metal Sonic, but at the same time, I won't because he's gonna try and stop me into in, in fighting Eggman. That's the third time I fell in that goddamn pit. I'm just having a hard time with that. I should have practiced that. Oh well. Nothing I could do. I'm just sitting here trying to impress you guys with this game. I think we're all. I, I'm very surprised. Yeah, I was. Can... I was very surprised that a lot of you guys seem to like this game. I'm very like shocked on that. Just saying that. You're still gonna buy it? Uh, yes, buy the game. Make me feel like proud of myself. And according to chat, Knuckles is here because this is actually Angel Island in the future, and oh. Robotnik turned turned the Master Emerald into a card. Why don't you just use the Master Emerald? Why do you need it to be a card? Oh dear. It's, it's like I told you the Sonic plot. The plot to too. this is so weird. I'm not even kidding with you. What? Okay, it's I've like never seen that. Where okay, like, that's the first. Oh, you know, I might, I might be able to find a use for this fucking Master Emerald. So, Come on, it's the Master Emerald. That's a big deal. So I don't know what happened there, but I randomly got kicked off the Wrecking Ball. I don't know how that happened. Well, that's the first, because I've never seen that. It oh, it happened. Uh, sorry, I want to mention something. So a lot of... Is. So what Hulk would just said about the wearing clothes, yes. Depending, I guess, like, so when you when, when you play the game, you unlock cards. And certain cards give the uh, character's clothes. I just forgot to take it off on Sonic because I was bored. But yeah, yeah as you can see, cool. yeah. It's very X games ish <laughs> Yeah, the leather is probably the best outfit. There's other outfits, but I, I honestly think leather is the best because Leather is the first one you get in this game. So I agree that leather is probably the best outfit in this game. Too bad I don't have his gloves because I didn't unlock it yet. That shows you how much I, I speed run this game. No, I'm no you have to. There is, if you play like quick play, they have like little challenges, and that's really where it's unlock the clothes. 
but I don't do quick play. No, no need to do that when I can just probably get a free world record anytime soon. Which, honestly, there is no free world record. <laughs> Alright. So that's the end of that level. Now we're moving on to the second to final level of this game, or final boss of this game, I should say. There's still like three levels after this. This level I like to call the Dizzy level because I just like to make everyone in my chat dizzy on this level. It's so much fun. Oh, I, I just... love this monkey. Yeah, and it's literally amazing. this is what I just do. I just I just keep holding right, and then I actually eventually guys at some point. You guys getting dizzy yet? Oh no, I'm gonna have to look away. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally what I do in my chat. I literally just hold the right like the whole time because you can't do nothing in this level besides hold right. So, so chat, you guys getting dizzy yet? So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hit his brain when it comes out. That's why I can't really do nothing in this level and I have to wait for it. So there's nothing else better to do than to make you guys get dizzy over here. And don't worry, I don't get dizzy doing this because I've done it so many times it doesn't even bother me. It's like how time I'm not even paying attention to what's going on in this level. So this is like, and also at the same time when I'm, I'm making you guys dizzy, I like to just hit enough, uh, Sonic. Metal Sonic a lot. It's fun. I'm like mispronouncing everyone's name. Right? Your head is dizzy? Good. That's what I was hoping for. But this is basically nothing to this game. It's just basically had to wait two more times. When we get to the final three levels, I'll explain a little more about that. All right, one more hit, and we're going to be on the final last three levels. Don't worry, Liz. It's almost over. I promise. <laughs> it's almost over. I promise, guys. Hope I just realized Liz is not here any longer. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> How's it going, man? How's it going? So that's the final hit, you guys. I hope I you guys are I'm just uh... getting the next thing set up. <laughs> Good call. Good call. No worries. I totally I'm forgot to message that. Travis. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so now what happens is you no longer do a race uh the i guess everyone starts teaming up and saying you know what's the point of us all racing when we can just stop eggman altogether so now basically yeah, it's a, what is the point <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, they they finally realize that after like racing like five times they're like hey wait that's nothing why are we racing when we could just stop eggman together so basically now it to me it's it's up to see how fast I could beat this level. The timer is now timing down instead of timing up. Because like I said, I'm not doing a race anymore. And throughout the uh, levels, you'll see you see like two interactions. You see uh, two with knuckles and two with uh, shadow. Yeah. We don't see silver anymore, unfortunately. That was no more silver in this. And the animations sometimes are kind of funny. There's one with was one with Sonic. When you uh, play as him, or you play as one of the characters, he like headbutts you, and it's, I think it's hilarious every time I play as that character. I don't know exactly who it is. I think it's uh, I think it's Knuckles, if I correctly, or it could be Shot or Sophie. So this is probably like one of my best levels besides the Carnival level. This is a really cool. Level. I like the gimmick in in this level. Yeah, the animations are hilarious. Like, why why are you hitting Sonic if you're trying to help each other? Like, you're trying to give him enough boost by hitting him in the back? And 
and like I said, the reason I like level is that it's all oh, it's it's as fast as the carnival level. It's really nothing to it. I, if I like level, you'll see it in the, uh, the next level. Um, they have these like these teleporters, and I like how they like teleport you to different places. It, it makes no sense at all. <laughs> So this one, he like ground pounds me, and somehow I just fly all the way to the other side. I don't know how that's possible, but you know, sonic physics, I guess. All right, and we're about to be done with the first level. And there you go, that's the end of that level. Alright, now the next person that helps us, if I remember correctly, is Shadow. Yes, it is Shadow, I remembered, okay. I no more, no thinking. more silver No more silver, no more silver. Again. You only see him in the two races, that's it. <laughs> oh they were no, like, they were like, what yeah, why shame. Don't, why don't we just not put, so basically, I guess the way they work, they make it is, whoever you verse in the Coliseum level, you will never see him again after the Ice level. He just okay. Well, okay. I'm not gonna read that out loud. <laughs> I will not read that out loud. <laughs> but uh, I think everyone in chat knows what the hell I do think this says. So when we get to basically second half of this level, you will see the little teleporters. They're, well, they're not really teleporters, they're more like, what do you want to call it, like warm, war, wormholes, that's, that's the best of the word I'm trying to think. So are we on the space colony arc? Like, why are we in space? Um, apparently Eggman's final invention decided he wanted to have it in space. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why, to be honest. There, I guess it's just they. Guess he just has like this big ship that I will explain later, because we're actually almost there, and I will explain a little bit more in that. There's really nothing to explain. All is that there's just a cool trick that I, I me and the other, the only, sorry, the only other speedrunner that plays this game beside me. <laughs> we uh, we learned a new strat uh, in this game on the final level, which we thought was pretty decent. So. I'm gonna go for it and hopefully that I don't get hit by all his uh, little crazy gadgets that try to stop me from attempting to beat the game. So I wish this cutscene would not be this long. I wish it really wasn't because he could have went on the platform the first time instead of the second time, but you know, whatever. Yeah, you can go down there and save like maybe a couple seconds, but it is very risky if you go down there because you can easily fall down. So yeah, here's the little wormholes uh, section. Basically, you have to find which wormholes which half the time. Luckily, I know where they all are, so you guys have no worry about. This is more like the auto, auto luck bringing you to the next wormhole. Don't go I down there. I like flailing when he gets in the wormhole. Oh yeah, that, 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 that's, why, like, that's, ah. why, that's why I find it funny. I find it hilarious every time. Like, why is he doing that? Okay, so that, no more races after this. Now we go to the final boss and the... I will let you know when time ends. The time ends on a weird position. I don't know why they ended it at this time. It will end when the cutscene ends when I get eight hits on this boss. This boss has eight hits this time, not not six. Uh, so what I learned uh, is that if you spin dash and then jump at the right time, and I thought, <laughs> yeah, I thought, <laughs> uh, if you spin dash and and jump at a certain part, you can skip through all of that guy's lasers right now. And Metal Sonic is not treating me right right now. Yeah, Sonic, man, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do it over now because Metal Sonic is not helping me out right now. Uh, I can, I can still show it off in the next, the next uh, part of the level. Okay, 
Here, I'll try again right now. There, well, it was kind of close on that. But if you get enough height, you can actually skip the roll. Bro. And there, there is another way that we've learned, like, how to beat this boss, but we don't know why it happens. I guess, like, when Metal Sonic goes through the tele the, the wormhole, some like that, okay, there you go. So what you guys just saw, that is what I was talking about. You get so much height that you skip through basically all of his inventions that they're trying to stop you. All right, nice, I got it twice. Actually, that's pretty good. Look, yeah, look, at, look at all those little things that could have hit me on the way, but no, I just said, screw it, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just spin that my way out of there. Okay, Metal Sonic. Please, please stop giving me a hard time. I think, like, the electric is the most annoying uh, part of this run. So the electric uh, stops me every time on the first first time, and it's really annoying. Let's see if we can get past it. No, nope. oh, oh! I did get past it some way. Alright. We're coming on the last final two hits. Like I said, the timing stops when the cutscene ends. I'll let you know when that is. So then he thinks, okay, why don't we just put all of his, all the things I had in the first six levels and just add them to the final part of the ship? So, having a hard time with this uh, lecture. And yeah, I'm just throwing uh, the ice cube, you know, nothing new. Ah, come on, man. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, let me see if I can do this one cool thing. Oh, I didn't do it. Okay. So what timing... What are you trying to do? Uh, it was basically, when you get the final hit on Sonic, it, you can just fall off the ship and make a cool cutscene. And time. Time? So yeah, that's the game. GG. <laughs> uh, what was my time? Um, hold on. Let's see. That was... 45.07, I believe. Uh, that's not that bad, I guess. Of course, 45 I... 45.09. 45.09. 45 yeah, it's not that bad. I... If I didn't die, I would have liked to have a couple of things, but... After all, it was just... Oh, dude, it was more just a marathon, to show this. no reset situation, dude. That is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what happens when you lose a level, so I was hoping I didn't have to show that if I did lose, but unfortunately, it was what it was. RNG wasn't my favorite that level, so... Subestimate. That's what matters. Yeah. You did a very good job. Everyone give Boobs a great round of applause. Uh, you got anything else to say, Boobs? I uh, just want to say, you know, if you really want to give this game a try, I really would love it. Give it a try. Recommend it to anybody. Um, I want to just thank basically everybody in the Blaster Process Runners and all the people that, you know, made this to an awesome community and you know showing off all the big good sega games that sega's made throughout the years and yeah, that's just basically it thank you guys for having me on here Dude, it's our pleasure man thank yeah. you thank you so much um and with that we are done with the sonic block uh thank you for sticking through with us to the end we're moving on to mega turrican with dagron uh but with that i am done with my uh with my hosting for most of the rest of the day. I'll be back right near the end, but if you're looking for me, I'll be doing a few more runs. Yeah. Give us a few moments and we'll be back with Dagron's Mega Turk race for run. Thank <laughs> you.